Selling low content books like journals and planners are very popular. However, there are increasing challenges selling this type of books because of their popularity. One of the challenges is that they are becoming oversaturated and difficult to market. The second challenge is that Amazon does not provide ISBN for them anymore, thereby limiting their distribution reach as well as the look inside feature that helps increase conversion rate. So with all these challenges, it's time to switch things up and take a smarter approach that will set you apart from your competition. So today I'll be showing you three game-changing alternatives to low content books that are easier to create, only take few minutes free to publish as well and have way less competition and by the way if you're new to the channel my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio the first alternative we'll be focusing on would be Maze Activity Book so we'll come to Amazon and type in Maze Activity Book I'll be focusing for kids between the age of four to eight activity books can be created for both adults but I want to focus on kids for this video and once we look at this but before we scroll down you could see that result is 3000 which is not so much which is good but in my previous video that's mentioned that we need to look for um, niches that is less than 1000 but let's quickly look into this page this is a bestseller is doing really well this is as well this is a jungle themed um, maze activity books and is doing well as well so for this video let's focus on um jungle themed activity book this is also doing well so we'll come in here and type in jungle and our result is way less than 3000 this is 316 which is really good so the next thing we're going to do is i'll go into book bolt so book bolt is a research tool that i've used on this channel before we use it as a chrome extension but this time around i'll be going into the application itself to show you how to do a quick research as well as we'll be designing our activity book within the book book boat application so you come to research and you go straight down to cloud we want to look at the top 100 selling activity books on amazon and we'll come here and change this to activity book and leave every other settings as it is and then that's top 100 and click on search is going to load the top 100 book and let's look for our jungle themed book the ones we saw so this is the one we saw when we were reviewing on amazon itself and you could see that it was just launched last year and is doing really well in terms of its ranking for estimated monthly sales is selling about 613 units a month which is a lot for 7.97 dollars for each of the units which is really good so once we've identified and understand that we, it has demand it's selling well and the books in that niche is doing well the next thing is for us to create the activity book itself so we'll just come here and switch from research and click on create and once we click on create two options is going to appear you click on book bolt studio so once it opens up another window the next thing we'll do, we come to projects, new projects. This is open already because I have a, an existing project. So you come to new project, then you choose, do you want to create the cover and the interior or which specific part do you want? So we want to create paper bag, cover and interior. Then our project name would be maze activity book then in terms of the trim size from my research it's between 8.5 to 11 inches similar to coloring books and in terms of the interior and paper type we will be using black and white if you also want um colored interior you could choose that but we'll choose black and white and for the bleed we just saw no bleed for the page count depending on what you want to do so for this we want to do around 78 pages we want to break it into easy medium and hard in terms of the mazes to so two pages for design so we'll just say around 78 and click on create project so once you do that this page opens up this is why i like both the whole template already is you know placed for you and all the margins are set so you cannot make mistake designing outside the margins but before we start designing the cover and every other page we want to design first of all the maze pages so we have the cover we'll leave this for who owns the book we'll be designing this then we'll leave a blank page and we'll start making our mazes from 
page three. But before we do page three, we also want to, to break it into sections. We said easy, medium, and high. So this would be easy. So we'll come to page four. So next thing you have to do is come to the tab here. You would see the maze icon. You click on it. It's going to say paper templates. So we'll scroll down and choose. So we'll be doing different styles for the different um, difficulty of the mazes. So I'll choose the circle one. Okay. And we want it to appear in 25 pages. So from page four. Okay, so this is selected. So we'll go to next. And once we come to next, remember the, the first set, it has to be easy. So we'll just leave it as, let's use three strokes. And the cell count, let's reduce it all the way down to five. Okay. And we we'll want to make sure that it's dark. And we click submit. And what it's going to do, it's going to create different mazes for each of the 25 pages they will never be the same that is one good thing about this application so let's quickly scroll down so you could see this is one and when we go to the next page this is a different one as well so you could see how different they are they look so different so now that we have created some so let us quickly move on to making these mazes look different because if you are going to sell mazes like this it has to really stand out right so what you could do is to go to pictures like the file library and be able to pick up any picture you want i've been able to upload some of the images that i like and i want to use for this um tutorial so i'm gonna select one that I'll be using for my maze. Now it has put it here. The next thing is to drag this below. Okay, and now let's play with this a little bit. Just reduce it a bit. So for the image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gray this out because we're doing a black and white so you go to effects come here and gray it out and we're going to make it light so in terms of the opacity we'll just reduce it a bit so it doesn't overshadow our maze but it looks different okay I like how this looks so you go ahead and do this for all the pages now in terms of the title page for each of the subcategories i would come in here again and i choose a picture that i have i like this i'm also going to make this gray as well so i'll click on this effect may it create skill like it the way it is and i want to put in a text here so i'll just come here and click on text and click on heading and i'm going to type level one easy so this looks okay so let's quickly work on the cover page and the page of who owns the book so we'll go to the cover page the next thing you will do is you come here and say hide cover template and it hides the page okay then we'll go back to our image because i want to use a background so i'll select this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to fill it up. But before I do that, I want to crop out the blank spaces. Okay, this looks good. Next, we want to put in some title of our book and something. So we'll go back to the image because we want to use this to showcase the age of the book. And by the way, I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial for each of the alternate products I'll be showing today. So... This is just to show you how it's done quickly. Yeah, you could play around to get it right. Make sure it looks right. Okay. And then once you're done designing or putting all the aesthetics you want for your book, you will just come to the file 
and the next thing would be either you choose to export but if you choose export it's going to export as png but that's not what we want so you go to download so current project we want it as printed books because we are selling it basically as a paperback so you could click download current project and it's going to download all these pages and it will come up as a book that you could upload to amazon kdp the second alternative we'll be looking at would be word search puzzle books so let's just type it in in on amazon and see what it gives us so what's that puzzle book for adults so we're focusing on adults you could see this is over 10,000 results but we could narrow this down um a little more so let's just scroll so this let's scroll down so there are a couple of them but we need to know the first 100 so we'll go back to book both and change the category from activity book to puzzle books and search Okay, it's giving us variety, 1000, this is like a combination, positive vibes, this is one to look out for. Let's scroll. There's one that caught my attention that has way low competition. Okay, so we have this, this is Bible word search books for women so you could see that this is sold for 9.99 this meter sales is 367 which is a lot and this is the moving average is 360 so let us focus on seeing how to create this in um book bolt so we we'll go back to our create and go to book bolt studio It's going to open the last project you are creating. So you go back to project new. We will leave the same settings. So project name will just say word search. We'll just say for women. And we'll choose the same dimensions. And we'll leave the same thing. So the idea for this particular book would be we want the bible verses to be on one side of the page and then the puzzle would be on the other side of the page so if you want to create our, around 50 puzzles you will know that you will need around 100 pages because you need additional 50 pages for the solution so if you want to have both sides of the book have um words that means like double of it so like 100 so we'll do like roughly 103 and say create books or create project sorry is going to load up then once it does that let's still leave the cover so we'll leave this and leave this and leave um this so the next one is we'll click here and we'll go back to our page templates this time around we'll be choosing this word search and the word search we want the word search to appear so on this page we'll leave this blank because we want the bible verse there then we need it on this we need it on this for now this is just to show you an example and we say next now when we go to next you could see that it's asking you for a file because it's asking you to give me the words to fill up. So this is where ChatGPT comes very handy. So let's just leave this as it is and move over to ChatGPT. So we come into ChatGPT and what we're going to tell ChatGPT is that we're going to tell ChatGPT to give us 50 Bible verses and we want it to arrange it in, in the column and it's going to do that for us, which is very brilliant. It's going to create each of the columns. The first column is the Bible verse itself. This is the verse content and it's giving you the, the words that you're going to use for your puzzle. So once this is done unloading, 
most of the time ChatGB may not give you 50 at the go so if it stops you just click on continue and it will keep generating till you have all your total um bible verses generated now we want to pick the ones that have roughly 10 words within it so we could put it in microsoft word bring it into book bold and start generating the word search so as he's doing this let me just pull up an excel okay so i've created one where i've pulled in each of the words as you could see we have five here we have 10 10 10 so you ask why are you putting spaces here because we want these words to be on the different pages we have selected or else it's going to be putting all these words into just one um puzzle so now we have this you need to save this file as a csv now we have saved it let's bring it into what we are doing so this has generated more is still generating so let's go back to the book boat studio and we'll come here and say choose csv file and we'll choose the word search and then you could do a couple of settings here so the font what do you want how many words do you want you could say maximum of five the columns and so on so let's just use a maximum of 10 and we're not going to do any settings but if you want you could do more settings on this we could make it dark Then for the solution highlighter, we want to, it to create the solution at the end. So you do want it as a ellipse, as a rectangle. Let's just leave it as um, rectangle. Okay, the highlighter, you could choose what the highlighter could be. If you want to make it different, let's just choose this color. And we'll click submit. Okay, so we're waiting for it to create the puzzles. So let's see. So you could see on this page that's created five then you come here this is another this is another five this is another five and these are the solutions you can see it has like solutions so you could always move this to the tail end at the, of the book once you are done. But let's just quickly work on this one, the first one. So what we could do is we want to bring this down a little bit. And we want to change the aesthetics a bit. So we come back to our file library and choose the picture we want. So I want this. And I will send it back so it looks really cool so we could reduce this a bit so you can make this a lot better I'm just going through this really fast so we'll click on the effects and make it gray again okay so this really looks good so once we have this we could put in the text I'm putting the the verse of where this is coming from. So we copied this. So this is why we left this page. So cancel. Let's save supposed to save automatically okay so we'll go back to the first page up because we want to have um the heading here as well as the bible verse itself so i could paste the bible verse here get the picture we want we'll send it back we could get it down Let me reduce this a bit Okay, so this remember to make it gray. 
Then let's just copy the verse. So you have to make sure the verse and what you have matches. So I'm just doing this very fast. So click on the text, this, and we'll be replacing this text with the verse. So we expand. So you just play with it till you get what you're looking for. You could reduce the size. If you don't want that, you could reduce it a bit. Okay, give it space or length, depending on what you want. Yeah, so you could see that this page has the verse itself, while this has the puzzle itself, which is really cool. So you don't make your own um, puzzle books just random. You want it to stand out. So this could be done for each of your pages. Now we have done this. Let's just quickly do a cover. So we'll come in here, click on this and hide the cover template. So we go to our library again. I've brought in some that I want to use. So I'll bring in this, then bring in another cover, another image. So this would be here. So I want it to stay to the end. Okay, so this is good. The next thing we're going to put in some text here and some text. This is for the back. This is for the front. So you come to text and the heading. Okay, you could put something here. So you could just play around with it till you get what you're looking for. As you can see, this is really looking good. So you could go ahead and work on the, the back cover and every other single page. So this is it for um, the puzzle book. If you're enjoying and finding value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to join this community. So the final alternative I'll be talking about will be ebooks. So ebooks can be about anything that you're knowledgeable about. And also the good thing about ebooks is that you can sell them both as paperback and as well as ebooks for Amazon Kindle. So even if you don't have an idea of what to do, then what you could do is to go to ChatGPT and ask it for possible niches and topics you could write on. And let's see what it's going to do. We type this in and enter. It's going to give us possible niches and topics. And I've asked it to put it in a table. Okay, so it has given us food and cooking, has given us a bit of um, breakdown, tips for planning a grocery cooking techniques for home chefs, some of it. Let's ask it to give us more topics on food and cooking. Then what you could do is you could go on to expand on each of these and it's going to give you a breakdown and one thing again that i have to mention is you have to rewrite this and also you have to check for plagiarism obviously if you're, you have knowledge of what you're writing you could make modifications you don't want to be flagged for copyright so you could ask chat gpt to expound more on any of the topics so let's just say um number five So it's going to give you more details you could use for your book. Okay. So once it gives us all the details this time around, let's quickly double check on Amazon to see what's going on before we start creating this. And this particular book will be creating it on um, Canva. So as it's giving us the details, we go back to Amazon and let's just look for cooking books and see how they are doing generally. Obviously there's some big names you're going to see here. This is a big name. It has a YouTube channel as well. So the Ramsey is very popular in the food space. So you could check out different books, how they look like, what they're selling you for, and you could take inspiration from for them and do more in-depth research on it. So once we have done this, we'll go over to Canva and at the very top, we would search for ebook because we want to use the template to create ours. 
So it's going to give you results and let's look for something that is food related. So this is food related. So we click on this. Another thing is when you're choosing templates, choose templates that have multiple pages to help you um, have more pages to design from. So you could click on custom template and it loads. Okay, as you can see, this has contents, chapter one, the food itself, chapter, the next page is the ingredients and all. So let's go back to ChatGPT and see what it has created for us. So it's giving us a breakdown. So first of all, we're dealing with comfort food classics, um, hearty and satisfying recipes. So this will be our topic. So we copy that while it's doing its thing. Then we come to Canva. And here you could always change the topic. So you could change it this up. So I'll just leave it the way it is just to show you how to edit this. So you could change this up. You could get pictures that suit each of the recipes. So you could see the, the content. This is chapter one. It, it explains which particular food. Then you could go ahead and switch off the picture and put in the recipes that ChatGPT has um, provided for you that you would double check in terms of confirming if they are right because obviously like I said you'll be writing a, an ebook that you have knowledge about so once you put everything together then as usual you come to share and download and you will download this as a pdf that you would upload onto amazon kdp so I know that I breezed through this very fast. I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on each of these products. So be sure to like and subscribe and put on the bell notification to know when these videos go live. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.